Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and if you were here with me a little earlier for Off the Board with Pineapple Papers, I created this for my very first day and uh, from a pin off Pinterest about coffee and I love how this turned out. It's also for the Stampin' Like It's Hot um, so it was a double whammy and I love how it turned out. But I used the Bow Bunny Beautiful Things collection and when I got done I realized I had two full sheets of paper, a handful of embellishments, some scraps, some that were like six by 12, uh, like one or two. Other than that, it was just a bunch of small things. And I decided I was gonna try and bash that and use as much of it up as I could. And so I thought I'd do a layout share with what I used, what I had, and then what I got completed with that. So here's a picture I took to send a friend that I was working on using up the ends of my stuff. So this is a picture mat that I had already built with a bunch of scraps behind it and then this small piece of paper I had. These are the puffies that I had left. There's a few underneath that you can't see. These are stickers and embellishments from the collection. And then these are all the little bits and pieces of scrap and you can see I'd already started building something up. So plus I had two full sheets of paper. So after I completed this off camera, I completed this. This is one of the 12 by 12s I had left. This was the six by 12, this rainbow color here that I had left. And I just use like this is a branding strip I cut in half, this black strip right here. And I used up a bunch of tags, some stickers and embellishments. Um, this I tucked in over on the side. This was actually just one card, like a file card. And then I used a bunch of these little puffy arrows cause I thought it was really cute. And what a beautiful place, of course, because this is my pictures from the beach. This was the other 12 by 12 background paper that I had. I had this um, raspberry paper strip here. This is actually the branding strip attached to it still. Um, I just tucked in bits and pieces. And I have to put a title on here still because this is a bird that my sister had conversations with. Um, it would whistle and she'd whistle back and they had this mm -hmm. conversation. It was pretty funny. So I thought this was a good time to use up the bugs that are in this collection, which was really the only thing I kind of had a hard time using just because I don't have a lot of outdoors um, things. And typically on a beach, I wouldn't be using bugs, but it was a bird and I felt like that's kind of appropriate. Um, and so I just used almost all the scraps that I had left, the bigger ones especially. This is from a packaging, and I thought it was really pretty, so I did a little tearing on here. Um, because this is how it comes with this little pretty um, cutout right here. So I just tore on the side so it didn't have that straight side. And then added all these layers, and I really do love the way that turned out. And then, finally, I used up the last bits. I used this 12 by 12 stick, um, 12 by 12 card stock. I took some um, abandoned coral and just kind of scraped the little end of the um, wand back and forth and then smeared it. And then these are all the little bits and pieces that I had left over um, from that picture. And I just built it up and then added some things, gave myself a little um, tag thing up here. Uh, this is my son's birthday and his birthday desires was a uh, dairy-free cupcake and then these little pastries are dairy-free and then I just added like all these little bits and pieces um, and this is that frame uh, this paper picture mat that I had shown you this was one solid piece left this black and then behind it is just a bunch of different strips that I had left and I made a mat out of I do that a lot if I've got strips left so there's three layouts that I completed with the last two pieces of paper and scraps that I had and I love the way they turned out. These two are gonna go together in my book. So all these complimentary papers will work. And then this goes in my 2023 chronological book. And then I'm just gonna share with you what I have left. This is the other thing that I had left. Um, it was a full 12 by 12 sticker sheet that had all these alphas. And I used quite a few on that stamp it like it's hot layout. Um, but I haven't used any of the pink. So I'm just gonna put these with my alphas. And then I also have um, two more packaging. So 
packaging. But these are really neat and they're lined. So if you got like a Sharpie marker, cause this is um, smooth, it's not like paper. And so it's got like wax or something on it, not wax, but you know. And so um, just like a normal marker probably would smear if you wrote on here, but it's lined. So you could use that as a journaling spot. And then I have, sorry for the noise. these puffies not much and then like I'd already put thank you on one of those so I couldn't really do that again um, but I felt like these are pretty flexible especially these that don't have any color on them that's a congrats it didn't really apply for any of the pictures I did so some little words that are shiny can't see very well um, I felt like these would be pretty easy to use um, on other layouts so I'm just keeping them together I pulled this off of my little container that had all my beautiful things and I put them in here and that way I can use them together since they at least they all cool you know work together or I can just pull things out of there as I see fit and put them on layouts so I just thought that I'd share I'm going to post this as a leftovers to layouts I'm sorry I did not do process video for it but uh, things are kind of crazy because I'm moving from one apartment to the other across the parking lot. Kind of a long story. Well, not really a long story, but anyway. Uh, and so I'm about to get started packing. And right now it's mid-June. You're going to see this on the 1st of July. And so um, I just thought that if I could get um, some of my July layouts and stuff done. And then I have to pack my scrapbooky things just to get it across the parking lot. So... I thought if I could get some of this stuff done quickly, then that would be the best way to go. So I hope you'll come back and see me. I will be doing some leftovers to layouts this year or this month with the um, off the board pineapple papers, but probably not towards the end of the month, not till towards the end of the month when I'm actually moved into my other apartment and can get to my stuff. So I hope you all have a great day. Hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Hope you'll come back and see me again really soon and happy scrapping.